Nothing like mending an old friendship with the bros by being ass naked and drinking. I mean, is it gay, fellas, to enjoy some drinks naked? That's, I mean... Hey, I mean, if you roll that way, there's nothing wrong with that. But his entire comedy skit is just being naked. And the shock of being naked kind of, like, buffs up all his different jokes. It is what it is. I can't wait for him to meet that girl we met in the couple episodes ago. And she's gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing naked? I'm sure we're gonna team up, though, right? Let's begin today's reaction, though. So he can cook. This is actually important. You know, people that can cook is very vital to these series. The best date you can do is to bring a girl over. Not, not the first date. But a couple dates in, you bring a girl home over, you impress her with your place, and you cook for her. Oh, bro, not only do you save money on going out, because that's some bullshit, expensive shit, right? But it's like a teamwork, you cook together. It's like a teamwork, and you do something together, and you cook something. Did she just fart? <laughs> She's queefing! <laughs> I, I forget what I was even talking about. Anyways, learn how to cook, boys. You know what the funny thing about this meta commentary is about, you know, shitty workplaces is that this episode is late because, you know, uh, what studios is? I don't know. But you know how ridiculous the anime industry can be with overworking their staff, paying them fucking nothing, putting them on an impossible schedule. I wonder what people that actually works in this anime thinks about their own company, right? They must be shit talking them. They're thinking about like, what a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> All right, our next goal is to get a widescreen TV. Let's risk our lives to get a bigger TV, guys. <laughs> Even though we already have a TV. You're not gonna jump over it, right? Yeah, that... Doesn't that seem like the right option? He's being so dramatic, just, you know, just taking his sweet time, putting his goggles on. Kencho's fucking losing his mind. We're not jumping it, right? What, what launch pad do we even have? I thought we'd go in the subway. Huh? There's no way we calculated that. Oh, there's a jump pad. This dude... I, I mean, since episode... Rip firefighter zombie. But like, since episode one, he knew how to use a bike so well, right? But this is... <laughs> okay. We did end up going into the subway. Bro, a head just hit Kenshi. Ew. Where? Where do we go? No, we're trying to live right now. It's crazy what the priorities are, right? Kenshi's like trying to save his own life. Motherfucker thinking you can get a bigger TV soon. Survivors? Survivors. Oh, girl. Oh, we got to censor them toes. Who, who is this? Hmm? Hello? Three girls and a salary man! Just gonna drink yourself out of this one? I don't blame you, yeah. Go ahead. I mean, it might impair the decision-making process of how to get out of here, but sure, let's just drink up. Fuck it, let's just party. Okay! But I wonder if he'll think about her, you know? The girl that pretty much told him to get serious about this? I wonder. Man, all the girls in this show, like, their designs are so nice. Hmm? It's like, a uh, dating. 3v3, right? This is like, uh, what do you call it? Not group dating? Isn't there a specific word for it in Japan? <laughs> These horn dogs, even in this moment. Yeah, who are you again? <laughs> Anyways. Rika. Maki. I like Reika the most and Maki. I don't Re Reika just giving up. She's just drinking. I like her though. Her design is nice. What what what? Air attendant, flight attendant, right? Or just a passenger? Ooh, that's why they're so sexy. Uh huh. <laughs> I mean, stereotypically, right? Flight attendants are like tall, sleek, very professional. Yeah, yeah like this, right? It's it. There's a it's like a very attractive profession, right? I think a lot of people are like fetishize, you know, flight attendants. <laughs> Guys, focus. What are we doing? You need to make them feel more comfortable, bro. Come on. What can you do? Riz them up. Make them forget that zombies are outside. There's an impending, you know, apocalypse outside. What can you do? 
Make Kencho get naked and start cracking jokes. Uh huh. <laughs> That's what you're gonna ask. <laughs> Bro, are you fucking serious? In this life or death situation, you're trying to score on her? I don't blame him. You know, let him take his shot. Plus, it wasn't even like that. He was trying to really, like, help her feel at ease. Oh. 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 See, this is the unspoken Riz versus Tendo sexual harassment. <laughs> I mean, I, can you hate a guy for having game, man? Yeah. Kensho does look very good. He's very tall, you know, and he's very charismatic. But, but Kensho looks to Tendo like a leader, though. It's kind of different. <laughs> Help me out, bro! Uh oh. He's gonna chug this. Spirit and guts. I would agree. Snort? No, 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 no. Tequila? You st You can't. Is she getting rizzed? Maybe she'll laugh? Hey, that's her girl right there! Go for it, boy! Sure, fuck it, we're in! This is where Kensho starts butt chugging. You know, you put the fucking bottle up your ass and drink. Now you're gonna say, what do you mean put your bottle up your ass and drink? Okay, he's already naked. The mucous membranes in your ass, it's more permeable to the alcohol coming in. Meaning, if you ingest alcohol orally, let's say you get like 40% absorption. With your ass, it might be like 80% absorption. Now I'm just spitballing numbers here, but butt chugging is an actual thing. How do I know this? Don't ask me. Yukari, the soft-hearted one, seems to have taken a liking to Tendo, maybe? Or maybe she's just being nice, because she seems like the nice type, right? <laughs> I'm gonna kick Sasuke. I still think we should have gone for Reiko. What is up with this dude? Oh, he was bit. Yeah, we gotta kill him. <laughs> Where is our priority? Oh my god. Bro I mean, we didn't know he was bit, though. No, don't bite Reiko. No! I like this girl! She's kind of bitchy, you know? I like that type. Don't bite her! Oh my god, if the lighting was a little bit better, we could see her, you know, her skirt. Oh my- Oh my god! I wish I was the zombie right now! That should be me! <laughs> no shot! From this angle? What the fuck? Huh. Don't tell me he bit! No, 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 no please! Alright, her coochie got bit. It's over. It, it's over. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god. You can't do making some move. You see that? It's like leopard print thongs. Oh, you're so muscular. I, I don't know. What, what's she doing? Groping him. <laughs> She's not groping him, but, <laughs> you know. She's just being nice. I think that's all there is to it. I mean, how is she going to develop some kind of love for you in this, like, 10 minutes we've met? The snorting? Did you like that? What I say, guys, it's just a girl being nice. Don't mistake it for romance. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's over. <laughs> just walk away, bro. Just walk away. Fuck me. Reika's bit, isn't she? No! Why? I like Reika the most! She's still drinking. What are we gonna do, bro? We got the Sailor Man and Reika. Oh my god. The bottle. She's just deep throating that, bro. Oh my. Can you fight the zombie? No! Why are all the girls getting bit? No! We had three sexy flight attendants. Now we're down to just one, bro. This is. I can't believe this is what's going on. Where are my priority? <laughs> Did you see the camera angle there? Her titties was just like. Okay. Is that enough to kill her? Did you? First kill? I, I don't know, she's kind of twitching still. Nah, that's a load of bullshit. That's the propaganda they feed you to make you keep working, man. No, you should think for yourself. Flying waitress. I'm not laughing. Flying waitresses? Come on! They're noble people. 
helping you out on flights. And they're very sexy, okay? I think a lot of people get that shit mixed up. A job is just a job. A dream job does not exist. Unless you're actually working for yourself and you're able to monetize your hobbies and you're able to pursue whatever creative pursuits that you want to follow through on. If you're working for someone else's goals, which is pretty much 99% of all the jobs that everyone has to kind of just like do because, you know, capitalism society, right? You got to pay the bills. That is not a dream job. It's just a job and it is what it is. But a lot of people make you drink that Kool-Aid thinking, no, this is your dream profession. You know, so many people depend on you. Load of bullshit. It's to keep you in the matrix. <laughs> not that I believe in the matrix, but what he's saying is exactly right. A borrowed dream. If money wasn't an issue, would you continue to do what you are having to do to make money right now? Answer is going to be no 100% of the time. Aye, that's I'd say. Don't know. Three for three. Why are all the girls getting taken out? Why? All three fucking flight attendants are done, bro. Should you punch a zombie like that, though? I don't know. What, what if it kind of your, your hand gets cut and the zombie blood kind of gets infused, right? How does this work? But she's bit, right? Careful now, bro. Careful now. Yeah, she was rubbing his back. I'm like, what are you doing? I feel like she's gonna push him to get out of here, and then he's gonna attack her. Bro, you gotta get moving! See? One last push. Felt like a dream. Salute, flight attendant girls. What the fuck, man? All because of that goddamn salary, man? Ugh. Did we find a TV? <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this anime. Sometimes it's so dramatic and like sad. And then he's like, hey, guess what, bro? Found the fucking TV. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it's just like a roller coaster, dude. And the zombies went off somewhere. How? Wait, isn't that a bit convenient? The zombies just disappeared. They were stuck in there. Fuck it. Hmm. He looks like he's deep in thought. Probably thinking about that dream of his, right? Because he hasn't really thought about what motivates him, what he wants to really do with his life. We keep talking in terms of dreams. What will Tendo's dream be? I mean, it's a main character of a zombie show to solve the mystery of why the zombie infection is happening and find a cure. Could that be his dream? Kind of seems generic, but... I don't know, it doesn't really feel like Tendo has those kind of aspirations just yet, right? Yes. Alright, he's back. I can't believe they introduced three sexy girls and immediately clap, clap, clap. They're done. It is what it is. I shouldn't get attached to these characters, man. The thing about zombie shows, even with Kencho, he's a prime target to die. You know how these zombies movies or series works. The shittiest person and the main character will live to the end. But along the way, all the people you love, the lovely side characters, the bro, the big bro characters, they'll fucking die. I've been through this multiple times. Kensho is a primary person to fucking die. We'll get there when we get there. I'm expecting us to actually form a team though and actually have a goal of to do something because so far, they're just partying, living it up. And I think this is the early game. We have to, like Tendo's still thinking about what his dreams and aspirations are. And it might coincide with like saving the world, finding the cure for the zombie infection, but it's not really there yet. It'd be interesting to see if that's the case, how we're going to go that way. Or he seems pretty content with it, to be honest, just living and existing in this world, as long as he gets this bucket list of things to go down, right? I'm expecting to meet up with the girl pretty soon, you know, the girl that we met in a couple episodes ago so that we can form as a team, but when will that happen? Maybe a couple episodes, but hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.